Welcome back to Melodia's Home and Gardens. Get down, Puffy. Today, as you can guess, we will be baking bread. I'm going to be trying out the Jamaican bread for the very first time, and I will give you the real results. Whether it's successful or a failure, I will be letting you know. So I went ahead, since the yeast had to soak for 10 minutes, I went ahead and I put the yeast in for 10 minutes in the hot water, the warm water, and I got all my ingredients out. Then I went and I washed my hands. And you want to get under the nails and clean out your nails. So fingers and nails are clean because you're going to be kneading your bread. So without further ado, let's get baking. Okay. It's said to put it on a lightly floured surface to knead it in. But I don't need it to be floured because it's not even that moist. And secondly, uh, this recipe looked like it was missing something. I had to add liquid to it because the flour was not coming together. So myself knowing what dough is supposed to look like, I added some water. So I'm going to knead it. Now I know there are some breads that you shouldn't need too much because the more you need it the harder it becomes but for this bread since it's hard dough bread I guess that's why the recipe calls for you to knead it more and I'm using this placemat that I bought specifically for baking um, because my cutting board is not that big and I guess this isn't working out very well because it's moving so I'm going to buy a square cutting board because my other board is in the box somewhere for moving okay it looks pretty needed to me I give it a couple more good needs. And then it says form it into a ball and you're going to put it back in your pan for an hour to allow the yeast to do its work and allow it to rise so while it's doing that I'm going to go outside in the garden so it says to put a wet cloth over it so I'm going to go damp a cloth and cover it and then we'll go outside for an hour do some work in the garden and when we come back in we'll bake bread so after proofing for more way more than an hour it should be overproofed it didn't rise at all so I'm still gonna bake it We'll see what it looks like and what it tastes like when it's done. But I'm wondering if something's wrong with the yeast. I did order it online because I can't find any to buy in the store. So, there's my bread. This was test number one. And it feels like a rock. <laughs> when I said I wanted hard dough bread, Not I didn't mean rock bread. But it smells good. Um, I'm going to taste like it. And the inside actually cuts nice. Let's see. Okay. Guess I we could bake a little more. But it actually tastes good. Okay. So, we have a, half, a cup and a half of milk in the pan. We also have... Um, a half a cup of sugar and a half a teaspoon, a half a teaspoon of salt. Then we're going to add four cups of flour. We're going to add it slowly. And then um, in the flour we have two tablespoons of instant yeast mixed in. And because it's instant yeast, we can mix it into the flour. Be right back. Okay, so what you want to go ahead and do now, 
you want to go ahead and um, I mixed in the yeast in here the two tablespoon of yeast and then I went ahead and I put in four ounces of hard butter you can see the little clumpiness of the butter and I've already mixed it all in then I'm going to go ahead and add it slowly to my mixture and knead it in be right back see how it's sticky you want it to be soft you don't want it to be hard because if you make it hard the yeast won't be able to rise and also um, you'll get a really tough bread go ahead and flour your surface dump it out and knead it some more okay so what I had what I had to do was go wash my hands um, and I put some oil on my hands and that will help you to manipulate the dough and I can tell it's already rising a little just from kneading it I can feel the looseness in it yeah, I can feel it and I'm not going to knead it too much because as I said I don't want a tough dough I want it to be light and fluffy even though it's hard dough bread I'm gonna do it a little bit more just push it in push it in getting a little flour on my hand push it in you can see it's gonna form it into a ball and then I'm gonna put it back in the bowl What I'm going to do, I'm going to put a little bit of grease into the bowl. This is going to help it to come out after it rises. Because you don't want it to be sticking too much. So, just going to, whatever is on my hand, coats it also. And I can see it rising. Can you see it, Gabby? Yes, you can see it. It's a little porous and it's already rising. I'm going to cover it with a wet cloth and I'm going to clean up a little bit and we're going to leave it for an hour. Let's look in the pan and see what we have. Ta da! It has risen almost all the way to the top. So that means it is almost twice its size. So we're just going to start by pulling it away from the sides. That's how we're going to get it out. Ah, nice. Okay, and then we're going to knead it. Well, I am preheating the bread, the oven to 350. It's at 175 now. When it's ready, I will go ahead and put the bread in. Okay, the oven is saying it's at 350. So now we're going to go ahead and put that bread in. I can't wait this second one is going to be successful and the reason I know it's going to be successful look at it it's like it's so high it's proofed so high that it's almost coming out the pan this bread is gonna be delicious okay Gabby open that oven and put that bread in no you have to open the top one just squeeze the button yeah pull the jar out the jar yeah. Yep, put your safety mittens on. We still have holiday mittens out. <laughs> we need to change that. Okay. And in they go. Put the other one closer to the center too. The other one on the left, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Alright. So we're going to set a 35 computer. Set 35 minute timer. Second timer, 35 minutes, starting now. Do you want to name this timer? Yes. What do you want to call it? Second try. Okay, I'll call it a second try timer. 
35 minutes, starting now. Thank you. Okay, so then we'll come back and we'll see what happens. So these are my bread. I should have cut this big one like slits in it so it wouldn't have popped out at the sides um, instead but it's bread this one is Poppy's bread <laughs> yeah this little one here is just for Poppy it looks like a little bun like you could just use it to eat you know make a sandwich so I don't know Poppy might not get this bun <laughs> I know somebody over there is eyeing Poppy's bun <laughs> This one though, it looks so good. I'm gonna cut it. <laughs> 